Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Zig H2O water brushes which are made by Kuretake, They're aka the Kuretake and the, also the Niji water brushes. Yes, that is very confusing, but they're all made by the same manufacturer. So I think that they're just essentially the same. I've tried to compare images online and they look really similar. So let's just take a quick look at the tip sizes that we have and I didn't get a medium water brush because I think they're frankly a waste of money. And so I just got the fine or the detailer tip, the large tip, and then the flat brush that they sell. The small tip is a bit used already because I've had it for quite some time and then I've just recently acquired the large and the flat head and that's why I want to do a review. And as you can see here, it's made, made out of really fine hairs, which is nice. It's synthetic and here's a little size comparison to the mechanical pencil so you can see how small the detailer tip is. And here is the large tip, which is actually comprised of a lot of hairs and it's good because it'll hold more water. It's really fine. And if you compare these two together, this is how small the detailed tip is and how big the large tip is. And I feel like you don't need to get a medium brush with these two sizes. And here is the flat head. As you can see, there's a bit there's a bit fewer hairs because it doesn't need to be as round compared to the other brushes. And you see the size comparison of the large tip and the flat head. So the flat head is really better for doing a lot of big washes compared to the large tip. It's easier to get the flat even wash. So we're going to be comparing these three brushes and I'm going to look at the water capacity and how much water goes out when you squeeze it and how much water goes out when you're just making a stroke. Because it's really important for you to kind of get a gist of how the water brush behaves and see if you like it. So I'm just using my Winsor Newton watercolors to test these out. We're going to start off by doing a demo on the detailer brush and I can get lines that are thick and I can get lines that are really thin. And here's me attempting to do a uh, wash. And with the large tip, you can see there's quite a difference can make really broad lines but at the same time you can also get finer lines because the tip tapers off to a really fine point which is what I like about these water brushes and for the flat as you can see it's so easy to get these flat washes but you can also use the side to make special effects like grass and wind and it can also help for hair which is why I also really like this brush it's really multi-purpose. And here I'm just doing a gradated wash. And it's really easy to do a gradated wash with a water brush because water keeps flowing out of the brush. And with these water brushes, I find that the water flow is just right. It's not too dry and it's not too wet either. And it's also easy to get a gradated wash with the flat brush. And when you squeeze the brush, it gives a decent amount of water so it's easy to work wet on wet. So I'm just doing a demo here with a small image and I'm wetting the paper first with the flat head brush and then I'm just layering down a wash of color for a base just so there's a kind of cohesive tone for everything. And then I'm just lightly coloring in the bases with a large water brush. And I find that I, I didn't often have to switch tips for the brush until later when I need to do the details. The large water brush is very versatile because you could do, you could color really big areas, but at the same time, you could also get a lot of finer detail because the point is tapered so finely.
the water flow is just right although if you like to paint with a lot of water like me you could also have the option to squeeze out the brushes you paint so that you could get a bit more water and spread it around I'm doing a drawing of Gumi, who's a, one of the Vocaloids, and I'm just using Stratmore Ready Cut watercolor sheets for this. I kind of wanted to try it out because my sister-in-law gave me some. So you can see I'm not switching at all like the size, and I didn't need a medium-sized water brush. So I recommend if you're getting water brushes, you don't need to get all of the sizes. I recommend getting a large one and then if you have extra money, get the fine tip. The flat wash is kind of just an extra thing which is nice to have but not essential. So you can see I'm starting to work with the detailer tip just to get some color on the hair because I want it to be a bit more precise now because the color is darker and I didn't want it to seep into the skin much. And then I'm just going back with a larger brush afterwards while I'm letting the hair dry. And I'm going back with the eyes and the goggles with, with the finer brush. Of course with watercolor, it really depends on your preference whether to use a regular brush or a water brush. Some people prefer water brushes because they're more convenient while other people prefer the regular brushes because it allows you to control the water more easily compared to a water brush where water is always flowing and sometimes you could have a hard time with that. But these wa water brushes are really convenient and they feel really natural to work with. The water isn't, the brush isn't too dry and the water doesn't leak out too much as a problem with some other water brushes. And I feel like these are relatively easy to find in stores or online. Yeah, so these are the Zig slash Kurtake slash Niji water brushes. They're really nice products, so go check them out. So if you like this video, show some love to the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel. I do weekly art videos, sometimes product reviews, sometimes speed paints. And thanks for watching!